Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's figure out how to find the original price. And here's our first example problem. It says, John saw that the $15 t-shirt he liked was discounted 25% from the original price. What was the original price of the t-shirt? So, to find the discounted price, you use this formula. Original price times 100% minus the discount percent equals the discounted price. So let's just fill in what we know. We know that the discounted price is $15. So that'll be 15. And um, we're trying to find the original price. So let's put that as P. And then we know we have 100%. And the discount is 25%. Okay. Now, this 100% minus discount percent that basically gives you what percent the discounted price is of the original price. So now let's begin to solve. Okay, so we now have P times, let's convert this to a decimal by moving the decimal point two places to the left. 1 minus 0.25 equals 15. And 15 is the discounted price. Now what we do is we have P times... 1 minus 0.25 is 0.75 equals 15. Remember, whenever you have an equation to get rid of multiplication, you can divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by 0.75. Okay, these cancel. And then we have the original price equals 15 divided by 0.75. So 15 divided by 0.75 is 20 dollars. So the original price was $20 of the t-shirt he liked. Let's work another example. Okay, let's take a look at this next example. It says, Drew bought a used Honda Accord that cost $3,000. The amount was 70% of the original price. What was the original price of the car? Okay, Drew wants to know, hmm, a while back, how much was this car new? So, we're going to use the same formula, original price times 100% minus the discount percent equals the discount price. Let's plug in what we know. We know that the discount price is $3,000. The original price we're going to call P. We're going to take 100% and it was discounted 70%. Okay, so we have our formula set up or our equation set up. Now we're going to go P times, we're going to convert 100% uh, by moving the decimal places 2 to the left. So that becomes 1, uh, or you can write it like this. And we're going to write the, and we're going to move this decimal 2 places to the left is 0 0.70 equals 3,000. Okay, now we have P times 0 0.30. We get this by 1 minus 0 0.70 equals 3,000. We're going to divide each side by 0 0.30 because we're going to undo the multiplication using division. These cancel and P equals 3,000 divided by 0 0.30. And when I put this in my calculator, that comes out to be $10,000. So the original Honda Accord cost $10,000 and Drew bought it used for $3,000. May have been a good deal. It may not. I guess it depends on the what kind of shape the car's in. Okay, let's work our final example. Okay, here we go on our last example. We have a refurbished computer. Refurbished computer sell at 40% discount of the original price. Amazon sells a fast, sleek, refurbished computer for $800. What was the original price of this computer? Okay, so once again, we know the discount price is, why did I do that? Discount price is 800 and we know we have 100% times 40%, because 40% is the discounted price, and we're trying to find the original price, which we're going to list as P. So now we're going to convert this uh, to decimals by moving the... Decimal two places to the right. Remember, the decimal will be at the far right. So when I move it two places, we have one, two, one, two. Okay. 
So now what we do is we then go with P times 0 0.60 because 1 minus 0 0.4 equals 0 0.6. Now we're going to divide each side by 0 0.6 to get rid of this. Okay, so P equals 800 divided by 0 0.6. And let me get my trusty calculator out. 800 divided by 0 0.6 equals 1. Three, $1,333.33. Okay, so there's our discount. That was our original price is $1,333.33. Okay, so I hope that helps. Again, in summary, use this formula, original price times 100% times discount percent equals discount price. Fill in what we have and go from there. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies, kindness, be kind to someone today.